This is NBC Connecticut News at 11. Big talker here. Obesity is a disease. That is the new official declaration from the American Medical Association. But opponents say that medicalizing obesity means that one third of Americans are sick, and this will just lead to reliance on pricey drugs rather than making lifestyle changes. So we want to talk more about this with Dr. Nisin Namais, a bariatric surgeon at St. Francis, uh, joining me in studio this morning. Did I say your name right? Yeah, Nisin Namias. Nisin Namias. All right. Good morning to you, and thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Okay. So this has been something that's been thrown about for a while now. This is not a totally new idea. It's a very controversial one. Uh, why do you think it, it happened now? Why this declaration from the AMA? Well, the American Medical Association now has recognized obesity as a disease because it is important. It has a lot of implications in the future, specifically with the rising number of teenagers and children with morbid obesity. Uh, it is important to recognize that it's not just a stigma or a cosmetic thing. It is a disease that has implications in, in regards to treatment, prevention strategies, and more involvement from the government. It's very controversial, uh, you know, coming out and, and saying this. Why do you think it, it strikes such a nerve? Like, why are people so uh, strong about their feelings on both sides, frankly? Well, one of, the, one of the reasons is because we have a lot of obese people, and when we are obese, we tend to defend our natural position. So this will, this will make it easier for patients that are obese to seek treatment, to seek help, and for our, in particular, and one thing that's very important to me is our children, our teenagers, uh, will get better treatment and better options and better opportunities uh, when, when they go to the right professionals for treatment. Here's some reaction from the Association of Endocrinologists. Uh, the suggestion that obesity is not a disease, but rather a consequence of a chosen lifestyle exemplified by overeating and or inactivity is equivalent to suggesting that lung cancer is not a disease because it was brought about by individual choices to smoke cigarettes. What's your, what's your thought on that? Well, I think they got it right. We should not call a cancer patient, you know, it's your fault. We shouldn't tell an obese person that's suffering, that has a taxing existence, that cannot get a go a, as good a job as he could have, and that is bullied by society in many aspects. We shouldn't just bully them as well. We should try to help them, and we should bring some kindness to this. Now, the flip side, uh, some critics say, wait a minute, this is going to lead to a lot of people saying, I have a disease, I need medication, uh, more insurance claims, health care costs soaring. Uh, what would you say to that, camp? The health care costs are exorbitant already. Having people seek help is a very first good, is a great first step into having them channeled to the right professionals. A lot of people shy on their obesity and seek for internet treatments, uh, Chinese remedies, or, or things that are in, in languages they don't even understand, trying and to not lose FDA weight. FDA approved, of course, as well, not, yeah. and very dangerous, right. which also have taxing consequences. Reaching out to a professional that does this specifically is the very good first step into getting under control. And speaking to that, kind of piggybacking on that idea, do you think that this awareness, this new sensitivity, um, may lead to more people being able to take control of things that uh, through prevention or, or medical help or whichever they choose or whichever their doctors choose, to, to a healthier lifestyle for everybody? I mean, the goal here would be um, to help people with a disease of obesity to not suffer from that anymore. Uh, what, what do you think this could lead to down the road? Well, down the road, it, it will start by having a self, uh, an increase of self-awareness. It will start by having people be more kind to obese patients. And uh, they're, they're, uh, they're going to have other implications in regards to uh, airlines offering a better, uh, the same uh, fares for people that are obese than for people that have high blood pressure or diabetes. Schools being more understanding and of obesity and bullying and uh, you know employers and government uh, uh, government uh, institutions are going to start taking uh, in consideration this uh, as a start to decrease uh, discrimination in this in this type of uh, situation. It would be nice to see everybody be a little bit kinder to each other. All well, right. Thanks so is, much for coming in. This is the best country in the world. Yes. Yes. Uh, and we want to keep it that way. Absolutely. All Thank right. you for Thank you. Me. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Well, a lot of talk, as you can well imagine, about this story. So we put it on our Facebook page. Uh, you can weigh in on the debate as well. We'd love to hear from you. Just head to NBCConnecticut.com and join in the conversation. We still have